Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we're going to continue our space survival adventure here on the alien planet to work on the ship some more. Alright, so we're going to just jump right into it. We're going to create a hangar door system here and maybe make it airtight. We'll decide later and hopefully we have enough time. We'll just make a thrusters in the back for now and we'll figure out the rest later. And then later we're going to work a little bit more on design and also these individual ships on the side. Once again, it is a big ship, so it's going to take some time to build, unfortunately. So hopefully I get as much done and be able to finish it off at least in the next episode. Alright, so here comes the time lapse.
Alright, so we spent about five hours tinkering around with this large ship. And it was so long that update 1.197 is released. <laughs> so, looks like some nifty fun things in the new update. Along with the uh, pack itself. So it's the Wasteland update along with the Wasteland DLC. Which you'll see, you know, some cool things like an exhaust and these new little cockpits. So it looks like it's a uh, slightly less wider than the original cockpits, which used to be three blocks. These are now two blocks wide. So that's going to make for a lot of cool designs for a small grid ship or rover. And other than that, there's some additions to some blocks that I really, really wanted, which is these slope corner blocks to help round out the ship a little bit. And then there's some extra decorative stuff too, uh, which I'm not going to really cover the update because it doesn't really go well for this channel, but just want to highlight some of the things that I probably will be using. And luckily that the update this just popped up, but unfortunately I won't be able to use most of that stuff here in today's episode. All right, so I took roughly five hours or so messing around with the ship to design the innards and got as far as the front hangar and a bit of the back portion of the ship as well. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to do all the thrusters and such because I spent nearly two hours on the hangar door just to find out that I couldn't airtight it because of an issue with the subgrids into a station. You cannot merge block them for whatever reasons anymore and that probably came with the previous update where the collision has been kind of fixed but it caused this issue where subgrid into a station or main grid, it, you just can't merge it for some reason. You can merge subgrid to subgrid, but I couldn't merge it into the ship it's, itself. Another thing I was trying to do was put on the hinge and put a merge block on the bottom to connect. Instead of making it have like a subgrid connection to a main grid, I decided to detach the hinges so that it falls onto the merge block, which was a bit of an idea, but it didn't work out anyways. So unfortunately, I have a not airtight hangar door for now. But hopefully that collision kind of gets fixed. I actually haven't even tested on the new update of the 1.197, but I'll probably test it out soon so that I can have a nice airtight seal. But yeah, the hangar door is hold held up by four hinges on the top. And we have these rotors here only to lock it in place when we need it to. Uh, so originally, I was hoping that we would use a merge block so that it can merge into the main grid and it'll be airtight because of the corners here will be kind of connected but not really connected. If that makes any sense. So in order to release it, I mean first we can go on reverse which would pretty much open the door but it looks like I locked it. So in the meantime, I have three buttons for it but I'm going to put it on a timer block so that it can be all done by pressing one button instead of like multiple buttons. So right now it's attached, meaning the rotor head is attached to the rotor system. So let me go ahead and detach it and hit reverse. And we have a nice hanger door that opens up to about, I think a 45 degree angle on the top. So that's the hanger door system. And again, it's not airtight, but it looks like an airtight seal. Um, but because it's not merged in, it, it's probably not going to be airtight in that way. All right, so first thing you're going to notice is the airtight hangar doors. I only placed them here if I want to put a, a rover in here so that we can open this up and drive out. I could have put one in the middle too, but uh, design purposes, I just left that out. But the innards, I call this the hangar portion of the ship or the carrier portion of the ship. It's having six connectors so i could put at least six small grid ships here i'm gonna put a maybe a rover or a drop pod or something like that here because it's gonna open up to the ground floor with the airtight hangers here as well and to make it as big as possible the best option i had in mind was to put the ones on sides and put one down in the middle i could have probably put a little bit more but i think this is good enough for the time being so the other side's the same thing, put on some LCD screens and some more buttons and decorative stuff. And now I can, with the Wasteland um, update, 
and the DLC, I could put these nice cool little shelves. Alright, so now I can put down these nice little shelves here. We weld it up. And we have these shelves that shows kind of the product itself. So it looks like we have steel plates, interior plates, some small steel tubes and, and things like that. So it's a nice little decorative stuff to it. So the Wasteland DLC does have some extra stuff. I definitely could have used these viewpoints for upstairs um, to make it look cool. But it's fine for now. And we have these little barred windows and everything like that too. So those are some of the decorative stuff that I could be I could be using to um, deck out the ship a little bit more. But the hangar side again, it's just pretty much storing my ships, rovers, a drop pod or a respawn pod. I'm probably gonna put in the small respawn pod here, so I can use that just to like just drop in if I wanted to, or maybe a small, a really small grid ship to just like use it to drop and explore, I guess. And other things I can do here is probably a ship printing system. I definitely have the space to do so. But aside from that, we just decked it out with these armory stuff. And I did double wall it so that we could do the plumbing in the back here. So it's it's a very dark um, area because it's not lit up. So I can plumb in the front with this conveyor stuck here. So I'm going to pretty much plumb it and tube it up from there to there. And it's the same thing on the other side basically. So another thing I was playing around with was this station, this little control center with the little seats so I put those um, decorative blocks there just to make it look a little bit cooler and of course we have those big LCD screens and those big gates over there as well so I started decorating a little bit but I probably should have just put the base down first and done everything else but I got so into it that I decided to just go with it and just kept on building and designing as I went which is something I naturally do anyways so definitely a lot of space to play around with. I think if I could make a printing system, that would be pretty awesome. All right, so closing up the hangar door. Um, this is same, the button has the same thing, I just didn't name it. So here we go, we hit reverse. And we got our closing of our hanging door, which is not too bad. I put the spotlights there so you can see outside and inside. But this is what it looks like in the inside when it's closed. I do wish the merge block situation is fixed, but I don't know how that's going to look so far. But with all the lighting also, it's a little bit dark because I try to spread out as much lights as possible. And I didn't like over brighten them or anything, I just left that as default, but I'll work with that later. Um, the next interesting part is these catwalks, so if you have a ship, or if I make a ship that has a connect in the back, and a cockpit on the top, it will be easy to walk by and get onto these catwalks. So we can go to the next side or the back side or climb up to this gate here or this door so we can head over to the back side as well. So it's going to be two floors here. This is much bigger than it should probably be. But uh, it gives me room to make more designs and just play around with. And now let's head to the back. Alright, so the back here is pretty empty because I was planning to do all the thrusters and all the other stuff here. For the most part, I'm gonna refineries and stuff. It's gonna be in here, also up there, and you know, again, with more plumbing here, so get hide it all. Uh, haven't really thought too much about these little guys here on the sides just yet, but on the outside, on the very top floor, is the bridge, and I kind of added a little bit more design back here than I did in the front. Uh, I was just playing around with like the the slope blocks and corner blocks. So now I have more corner blocks to play with with the wasteland pack. So I'm going to do play around with those to make up more designs. Probably design up the front and back a little bit better. And maybe even the sides. So back here is kind of like the balcony with a kind of like a spoiler in a way. So that's why it looks like that. Um, but once you get inside, inside we have two gates and then some airtight hangers. It's not necessary. I just got felt like playing around with the design of it. And then once we enter here, it's going to be pretty dark in here. Alright, so in here we have the main door here and it's kind of like a floor up here as well. And then we climb up to the main top floor which is the bridge. We have some areas to make designs or put designs here. We have a table which I over designed with the seats which is similar to what we have in a garage or the hangar. And you guys probably seen these already which is basically uh, the cockpits or the seats I should say that are here as well. And look at the Wasteland um, scenario, which is the scrap race. 
I saw this really cool robot there, so I'm gonna probably make something similar to that or or use the same one to kind of put on the base for, for fun. But yeah, so this is the very top floor. It's not much designed right now, but we'll get that set up soon. But in the back end on top, we did make a separate floor, which is here. So that opens up to the bridge itself. And this area is closed, has doors, gates, windows, so we can airtight everything here. And we can put our refineries, cargoes, hydrogen tanks, everything we can up here. Um, so we can keep, save some space there too. So as you see, if we look here, there's a window and that's pretty much the rear end of the ship. So this is definitely a good spot for a lot of cargo areas. And down there is a lot of spots for cargo, cargo stuff too. Um, but everything kind of connects to a floor. As you see here, this is the front hangar. We're going to climb up the stairs. We can go back here. And now we're going to see the second floor. So we can get right into our bridge. The last thing I need to do is actually make something, a ladder system or a stair system going down. Which I kind of forgot about, <laughs> thinking about it now. So once we're able to go down from the top, we'll see everything here. Which again, it's probably going to be hydrogen tanks, cargoes. Everything that we need plumbing for, put back here, while all our thrusters will be pretty much uh, within this whole area anyways. And we're probably going to have to put in some more thrusters on the sides, on the top ones and bottom ones. But those are the afterthoughts, so I'll think about doing those a little bit later. But I just want to design everything first and then put in the thrusters, which might not be the greatest idea, but... I'll work around what I have basically. So there's a big ship, so I could do a lot of things with it. So it's not too bad. And as you see in the time lapse, um, I edit the ship by just cutting it through, cutting a floor through, just to add uh, like a secondary floor and everything like that too. But yeah, that's what I've got so far. Um, so far, total probably 10 hours worth of building. Um, this whole thing's right now. We probably got another 10 hours to go, but. I do want to finish up this ship on the next episode of the Space Adventure because I want to start traveling with this, start gathering more material, go against um, NPCs and drones and, and battle things with this and go exploring some more. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse and the walkthrough of the ship at its current state. So much more to go, but I do wish I can finish it off in the next episode. So we can continue on with our space adventure. And of course, if you enjoy this video, this content, hit that thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and also leave us some comments. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.